Hi, I'm Mike Shanahan and I'm IID's press officer and I've created two online social networks that help support the, the journalists that we work with around the world to get more information about the topics they work on. One is uh, for the uh, Climate Change Media Partnership and one is for the Biodiversity Media Alliance and these are both projects that we've helped to set up with other partners. Now both of these online networks use the Ning platform which means that any members can create their own profile they automatically have their own blog page that they can use and they can contact each other. And as we speak now, I think one of the networks, the Biodiversity Media Alliance one, has about 1,100 members and the Climate Change one has about 900 members. Now for both of these networks, we've had zero budget and zero time, so they've basically been set up and have grown organically. Basically people have come along, they've found out about them and have joined and have started interacting. We don't actually spend any time on the networks holding people's hands and, and trying to get them to work together. What we do though is uh, we say that you can't just join up, it's not just open for anybody to come along and, and add themselves to the networks. They must submit their information according to a set of questions that we've created on the application form and then I personally will approve their, um, their membership or, or say no to them. And the reason for this is that we get lots of uh, artificial human beings, lots of spammers who want to come and join the network and, and exploit it. And so there's a bit of time and energy that I must spend in, in weeding out some of these people each, each week or month. We probably have maybe 15 or 20 of them. Now, the, the numbers that we've got have come around for a couple of reasons. One is that each year we do send a message out to people we think would be interested in joining the networks. And these are primarily journalists, uh, but also communicators who work in non-governmental organizations or research institutions or government departments. So with a little bit of effort to push out that information about the networks, uh, we've managed to get the members to actually join. And the, the other thing I think that's helped really to generate more membership and more activity on the networks is that both of them have got an automatic link to Twitter. So there's a Twitter account that is connected to each of these networks. When any, uh, when any new member joins or when anybody posts a new blog post onto the network, there will also be an automatic update onto the Twitter page. And so for the Biodiversity Media Alliance, I think we now have 250 Twitter followers just on the basis of automatic feeds going up. Now, all this is fairly good, and if you look at the networks now, you'll see that on each of them, people have been posting information in the last month. But the actual activity level is fairly low compared to what, what it could be. And I think you know, if we were going to do this differently, we would really have a, a proper strategy for engagements and have somebody having some devoted time to actually sitting actively on the network, using it, connecting people, a little bit more marketing to encourage more people to join, and, and also pushing out content that people are generating on this site in a more of a human way rather than just using an automatic Twitter feed.